did I say, viewers? Woman wins. Right. I was 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 right. Helen's going to be chopping this little baby branch that we got with a, with a still. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh dear, oh. It's, uh, there's no rain at all. Um, nope. So weather, very pink. <laughs> weather for writing poetry failed me again. Yeah. I thought this was going to be a nice rainy cool job, but no, it's blue skies and there's the lovely blue sky all the way around. Um, as you can see, we've been filling the trailer up there with wood. We've chopped it all up. Now it's um, just a case of getting it into the trailer, but it is seriously yeah. heavy because it's that wood that's made of like bricks. I don't yeah, know. iron. <laughs> iron wood. Uh, so now we're having a little break. Yeah, we thought we'd answer. <laughs> There's a beast on me. Yeah, that's What's that? like a grasshopper. Oh, a is it baby, a baby? Baby grasshopper. Oh. There it is. You can't focus on it. Oh well. We'll edit that out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we thought we'd answer questions that you haven't even asked because we answered some questions when we were last doing woodwork because, let's be honest, all we do is woodwork. Woodwork? <laughs> you I know what I mean. it's called woodwork. Woodworking. Wood, um, wood, wood, wood lumberjackery. <laughs> lumberjackery. Yeah, that's like, that kind of thing. <laughs> woodwork is like where you're you doing fine I, carpentry you stuff. You know what I meant, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, last time we were doing lumberjackery, we answered some questions that nobody had even asked, but we answered them anyway. We just asked each other random things. Um, and we were thinking today um, that we haven't actually told you guys how we found this place, I don't think. No. How did you get your Chateau shortlist? Uh, so we got tired of going through Rightmove and all the other sort of aggregator websites because you never get everything. Mm. Uh, so what I figured you could do is use Google image search and limit the results to the most recent one month and just then put uh, Chateau Avondre for sale in, in uh, French and then you just image search them and you could come up with, um, it would just aggregate everything across all of um, the different um, what, what's, what's the word for realtors? Estate agents. <laughs> oh, uh, it would just aggregate them all together, even if they weren't on right move, um, and that made it just so much easier. It's a little cheat way if you want to find um, little hidden gems, and that's how we found this one. Because it wasn't in right move, it was in some um, very obscure little um, estate agent, and um, that's how we found this. Uh, along with uh, the, uh, the short list that we had as well, which um, includes the Manor and Maker chateau that we saw before we saw this one or around the same time it was on our short list wasn't it it's about 30 uh, minutes from your parents so it's about an hour north of us here yeah 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 um and so we saw that that was um our second favorite actually for a long like the backup sort of chateau for a long time and we saw Les Viettes as well. And they're not on uh, youtube but they do have an instagram account do they yeah 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 we can put a link uh, so both of them absolutely beautiful chateaus. Um, Chateau Viette, Le Viette is about maybe 20 or so minutes from Limoges, I would say. Um, and it was just incredible, just the most amazing interiors, really kind of original, beautiful, high ceilings um, with sort of almost painted, were they painted beams? Painted beams, painted beams yeah. kind of almost like painted frescoes um, up on some of the ceilings, lots and lots of what. If you had been told the basics of a chateau and you tried to draw it, it's almost what you would draw. Or it was kind of like just beautiful painted beams, um, gilded um, cornicing in some of the rooms. And it was absolutely loads of really nice outdoor space and outbuildings. And the chateau owned by the guys who run the Manor and Maker um, YouTube channel. 
also really really beautiful really quiet little village it would have been right next door to the school for our kids and again loads of original features but with both of them because we own our chateau just to be a family home but they were just too big for us they were just going to be far too big to run as family homes we would have probably used about a third of the space in each of them <laughs> and then ended up having areas that would have just never got the love that they deserved and potentially gone into further disrepair if they needed renovations to begin with yeah um they were just too big they were beautiful yeah. places um yeah the man and maker guys have got a turret as well which is yeah nice, yeah or a tower yeah. Um, Le Viet is this um, enormous uh, sort of um, Maison de Mate almost, isn't it? But it's a chateau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, always like, chateau. <laughs> it's about Oops, twice sorry. as big as this at least. Um, we'll put up some pictures. Uh, yeah, and um, massive. They're both enormous. What else did we see? We saw one that we called the box. <laughs> I can't oh, yeah. remember where that was now, but we called it the box because yeah. it was just basically a little square. It's a little Maison de Maitre. Yeah, a little Maison de Maitre sort of square shaped chateau. But that, I mean, some of them we dismissed because they were just too close to roads and we were mm. worried one of them, was it the box that just looked straight down onto a road? It, back, it had a it wall. backed onto, yeah, it was on a main road, right on a main road, which is something we didn't want. Yeah, we were like, the kids are just going to kind of walk over to the edge of that wall and just fall to their doom onto yeah. the A whatever. Not good. No, and <laughs> Um, it also backed onto a sewage works. Oh, yeah. Was that so, the same one? Yeah. So that wasn't <laughs> ideal. Um, and we saw another one, actually, which was another um, sort of Maison de Mate, which wasn't a chateau, actually, in near Limoges. Yes, we did. <gasps> yeah. You remember with a really high wall yeah, yeah, that yeah. led on, that was again on, you are not... again on a main road. Um, so that wasn't a winner. So, yeah, what we were trying to do before we actually viewed these places was find them on Google uh, Maps. And if you can yeah. do, if you can get the estate agents, if you're searching yourselves, if you can get the estate agents to give you a Google pin, all the better, but they're very reluctant to do so. Mm, so what yeah. we had to do was just, oh, we were searching, weren't we? Google We found Google two, Earth. yeah, we found two. Goodness knows if they've since now found owners, but they were beautiful on the um, agency websites. And one of them we found, it was in a town called Perigo and it looked absolutely amazing and <laughs> yes. we, we found it eventually on google earth and we were like this is beautiful it's like such a nice it had the turrets it looked kind of i hesitate to say disney castle -ish, but have, just to give you turrets, an idea but it was a nice looking no uh, it did room. i yeah. thought it had one no anyway, no we'll put up anyway. some pictures but yeah, yeah it, it was beautiful but we then found it on Google Earth and we were really excited to see its location and it was within about 500 metres of a Centre Commercial, which is an out of town shopping area. It so was, there was a uh, petrol station and yeah. some big supermarkets and a car wash and we were like, it's not really the sort of French countryside mm, dream no, that we'd hoped for. It was basically on an industrial estate. Yeah, um, just at the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we didn't see that in the end. Yeah, and there was the other one by the train track as well. Oh, this that was beautiful, beautiful place with a lake. It had its own lake, it was up on a hill, it had a tower. But again, we managed to find that on Google Earth and it was 50 metres away from the, one of the major train tracks into Limoges. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, we were like, oh, what a shame. <laughs> yeah, because it was like that. I think that would have been on the short list. Yeah. But we had to just wipe it off because mm. again, sort of cats kids just no noise noise, no, noise. We, where we were in cambridge was was um 500 meters from a train track and came it was the main line into london that was yeah. super noisy so we just didn't yeah. want that happening again yeah um yeah so there you go yeah google is your is your friend if you're looking for chateaus chateau mm. and i think um, we also put a search term in for the departments that we were interested in didn't we because at first we had a radius around near where your parents were mm -hmm. and this is further than the radius that we'd originally set ourselves we but of rules. course we just broke the rules because we fell in love because mm. <laughs> why Com wouldn't you it's compromised beautiful. a little bit yeah we originally wanted to be within an hour and this is an hour and 15 so it isn't really that bad yeah yeah um yeah yeah 
And oddly, actually, final little tip, didn't we really struggle trying to see some of them over summer? Because summer holidays are kind of oh, yes. sacred <laughs> over in France. <laughs> and we got some very grumpy emails from agents <laughs> saying, no, you may not see this on August the whatever, because we will be on holiday yeah. and it is absolutely not possible. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, August, don't bother trying to book it in August because <laughs> everyone goes on holiday. Oh, we, I forgot about another one, actually, that we um, didn't get to see that slipped away. Um, do you oh, remember? In yes, yes. Um, yes, there was a really medieval looking one, wasn't there? The, yeah. yeah, like you said, Usersh. Oh, we, we, they wouldn't let us go and see it for some reason because the owners weren't there. I don't know why. They wouldn't oh, let, yeah. they wouldn't let the estate reason. agent look around it. Without the owner. Without the owner site. being there. And the owners were overseas. It was like, what? <laughs> So yeah, we never got to see no, it. No, we never got to see that. That's a shame. It was properly medieval looking. I think it's sort of... It had a tower. Yeah, it had a big tower. And it was maybe, if you guys watch other YouTube channels, probably in the style closest to something like Rosier, which is... Up, um, we'll put up some pictures yeah, of it because yeah, my parents oh. visited it. Oh, of course Remember? they did. Yeah, yeah, we have got some photos of ones that we saw. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Okay. Um, but there you go. Yeah, if, so if you're looking for a chateau... Uh, Google image search it and then try yeah. and find it on Google Maps and then go and see it in person. <laughs> what are we making today? Today we are making a breakfast of huevos rancheros. So come and have a look at what is in it. So. It all sits on a tortilla flatbread um, and on top of that we'll go a mix of beans and sweet corn. This is just about half a tin of kidney beans and about half a tin of sweet corn um, which I am going to mix up with some spicy salsa, some hot sauce and to then garnish the top I've got some um, diced up red onion which I'll mix with a bit of lime and avocado and on top of the bean mix goes some scrambled eggs. So not featured in this image are eggs <laughs> because they're over there by the cooker. So let's get going and I'll show you how it all works. Why is there milk? Oh, that's for scrambled eggs. 75% ah. <laughs> of the scrambled egg ingredients are here, but not the eggs because they're in my little pot by the oven. <laughs> okay. So first things first, I will squeeze over my onion juice of about half a lime and while everything else is happening I'll just leave that to sit and marinate in the lime juice so into my beans I'm cheating and I'm mixing a few spoons of spicy tomato salsa the kind of salsa that you get as a dip for nachos and into that I'm gonna add of course because it's us a splash of hot sauce this now gets spread over the bread and you want a nice layer and this then goes into the oven which I've had preheating at about 180 or so and that'll sit in there for about five six minutes or so while we get on with the scrambled eggs so scrambled eggs Everyone knows how to make scrambled eggs. I remember having a ladybird cook with your mummy and daddy cookbook. And one of the first recipes I ever did was scrambled eggs. But here we go. So I'm just going to crack in my eggs. So I've cracked in my eggs. I'm just going to add into that a little splash of milk. And a tiny little knob of butter just because it gives a really nice creaminess to the scrambled eggs. I'm just going to give it a... <laughs> <laughs> right, there's the cat food yeah, upside down. Cat food on the floor. I'll just give everything a gentle stir around. My heat isn't too high on this because I don't want my eggs to burn. There's nothing grimmer than a burned scrambled egg. And I'll just leave that to bubble away. Every now and again I might take it off the heat just to kind of let it settle and not get too stuck or too sticky but we will see how we go so eggs have been on for about three or so minutes I'd say they just they happen really fast um, 
and they're so easy to do which is why I haven't really told you much about them because it's scrambled eggs but there we go so they are good for me I'm gonna leave them to one side and if you come back to the island I've diced up some avocado and I'm just gonna mix that with my lime and onion And this is basically just a little bit of garnish for the top of the dish. And I think we are ready to get everything onto a plate. Let's go. Okay, I am getting out of the oven my tortilla. And have a look at this. You can see the edges are all crisped up. It's kind of like a pizza. <laughs> it's kind of a developed a sort of pizza look. But all that cheese is pretty much melted, all nice crispy edges on the tortilla, and it'll be all gooey in the middle. So let's get it onto a plate. And onto that go our scrambled eggs. Lastly, onto the scrambled eggs goes our garnish. I'm just going to grab a spoon from the eggs just to get those last bits out. Just spread that all out. And there you have it. There you have it. Huevos Rancheros, which I know is probably not traditional Huevos Rancheros, but hey, it's what giraffe call it. Um, with a tortilla bread beans and sweet corn mixed with some spicy salsa and a bit of hot sauce, scrambled eggs on top, and then a salsery, limey, oniony, avocado-y garnish mix on the top of that. It is actually super healthy because it's all beans and good proteins and yummy stuff. We'll forego the cheese and the uh, butter and stuff. We'll just pretend that they're healthy elements. But it is a really tasty, yummy filling breakfast um dead quick to make as you hopefully saw another kind of um oh i can't think of the word thing a thing of our vlog food no uh, it's like one in the of theme our... yes thank you <laughs> <laughs> it's food <laughs> it's food another food <laughs> It's within keeping of the theme of our <laughs> cookery sections. Nice and quick, lovely and simple, and it's food. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Uh, warm now, yeah. no rain at all, um, but we got the wood loaded in. There, there it is. is, in all its glory. Uh, That's why you tune in. <laughs> when yeah. we start to actually renovate the interiors, you'll be like, but where's the wood? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to get it all back up to the yep. barn and um, get it split. But we're going to have some lunch first because oh, I am starving. exhausted and starving and yep. boiling. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can we just edit in that moment in the swing set where I said I hate bits of wood? Because <laughs> that is appropriate for this moment. Now. Yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> I hate pieces of wood and I hate you. <laughs> we can. Yeah. I hate bits of wood. And we're back in the barn again. With our... It's not a barn. It is oh, a it barn. Is a barn. Oh, what was the argument? Shed. Oh, oh yeah. It's not a shed. Anyway, we're in the wood stacking uh, drying department. Wood, there it is. We've got our splitter here, as <laughs> ever. <laughs> and on, there's our trailer. Look, look, it's like we've done this before. It's like we've done it before. And let's go and split let's it and stack it. Let's go in the pool it. and drink a beer. Let's yeah, go and do that. Only. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do that.
There we go. Welcome oh, back. No, no. Um, you didn't go anywhere. It's day two. Maybe you did. Who knows how well I'll edit this later. <laughs> um, yep. Uh, we're back at the wood barn. We're back at the wood barn. It's, we're back at the wood barn because we only ever we only ever show you the wood barn, and it's because big reveal. We didn't actually tell you we're only the groundskeepers here. <laughs> It feels like that, doesn't it? The cats own the chateau. Yeah, the cats own the chateau and they want us to remodel it entirely with like scratching posts and catnip. catnip. Trees. <laughs> so, so yeah, they let us come out the wood barn every now and again. <laughs> as long as we keep them warm in winter, they don't mind. <laughs> Here comes one now. Oh, it's the lesser seen one. The lesser seen Doofy. Special Officer Doofy. What are you saying, Doof? Is that right? Are you molting? Yep. Like crazy. What is that? The last log to split. Yes. Let's do it. It's taken us all morning. We started at about half nine and it's now. The midday bells are going to go off any minute. But it is done. And not before time, because I can hear a little rumble of thunder. <laughs> I see. It's not cooperating. No. There you go. And that's a wrap. It is. On wood. Probably about five more trips worth of that to do. Ooh, steady on there. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> oh, but look, we've got a wood pile. Oh, let's go and have a look at it. Have a look at the wretched wood pile. <laughs> Hateful job. Right, wait for the light. There we go. There was nothing there yesterday. This was a little empty area over but here. Get your face out. They know, they saw on the time lapse. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm again. just being thoughtful and explanatory. <laughs> Again, it's probably one and a half uh, cubic meters. That's about what we get out of this trailer after it's split and stacked. Uh, but maybe it's a month, I don't know, month there, month there. I don't know what that's gonna do. We didn't do that this time though. That's um, the oh, result yeah, of another this video. Stuff, this stuff out here. Don't know if that oh, was yeah. seasoned because that was uh, green. True. Whereas this stuff is old and on the floor where it was. Um, yes. Good. I, I feel the same. I feel, <laughs> I feel old and on the floor right. now after playing with all this wood. So before we wish you farewell, um, we realised that today, which is the 23rd of June, is the two year to the day anniversary of us completing the purchase of the chateau. Um, That's moving in day, wasn't it? No, no, no. We completed it on the 23rd and then we drove overnight the evening of the 23rd and ah. arrived on the morning of the 24th. Oh, that was a long journey. Yeah, it was with the three cat. cats and two the kids. Cat. You would have seen in our intro some shots of that actually happening. And the, um, there's that clip of us opening the door for the first time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Which is genuine. Um, and Doofy, the cat that you <laughs> saw earlier, howled the whole way. She did. We just like, from the back of our van, we just heard like, <laughs> <laughs> She, she doesn't travel well. No, <laughs> she wasn't happy. Not at all. Um, so, yes. Um, what, um, with our terrible grasp of French, what, uh, what's it like? If you're thinking of moving over here and you don't speak French, or you only have basic French from school, don't be embarrassed. You will make mistakes. They will be hilarious. <laughs> but you just go got for to it carry anyway. on. <laughs> yeah. What was that funny one where the delivery, that grumpy delivery driver, turned up? And he, yeah. He wanted a check, and um, uh, he, he was in a yeah. bad mood, and all he said was "check, check" like that, and, and then we said "je ne comprends," which means I don't understand, and he went "je ne comprends," and then he was after a check, so Helen was rifling through to try and find a checkbook eventually yeah. produced what she thought was a checkbook and then wrote him out a deposit slip <laughs> for the money. Yeah, and he just went, c'est bon. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh. I was very flustered. <laughs> it was very funny. He was very cross and I was very flustered. So yeah, there was that. There was, um, even just this year, back in sort of February time, we went to one of the local ski resorts and ordered some drinks and food 
from one of the staff in the seating areas in the off-piste area and the guy asked me where we were sitting and I just said to him Helen because <laughs> I thought I misheard him and I thought he was asking my name <laughs> and after that when when we left because his pal heard as well who was serving another table when we stood up to leave he was um and they were both going bye Helen au revoir <laughs> Which was, yeah, a little bit embarrassing, <laughs> but well I mean, it was good natured. It's all good. Um, so yeah, we're learning. We make mistakes. Yeah. We hate answering the phone still. That's the worst, because you, on a, when you're on a phone call, you just can't, um, you can't gesticulate and the, the signal quality is bad and they drop out. It's very hard. That's probably the most difficult bit is being yeah. on the phone, isn't it? Yeah. In person, it's much easier. Here's to the next two and onward <laughs> yeah. years. Oh, and there's some thunder. thunder. <laughs> they were Did about you hear to that? get wet. They probably didn't because it would be quiet. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> uh, we hope you like this video. Um, share it around. Like and subscribe. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. We promise it won't be wood. Maybe it'll be wood. I don't know. It's always wood. <laughs> it's always wood. Yeah. A thousand and one recipes with wood. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Here comes the wind. Now directly overhead. And it is rolling. Like Independence Day. <laughs> And I'm about to close the window <laughs> because it's going to be too loud.